What's going on YouTube? It's James here and I'm going to be showing you on how to create this really nice fire in the hand effect. So let's get cracking on with the tutorial. These torch turbulence are from Action Essentials 2. So if you don't have Action Essentials 2, search YouTube for some flame footage. So let's go ahead and drag everything down. When these flames come in, it looks really red and unrealistic, so if you set the mode to screen, it kind of gives it that realistic fire effect. Now I'm going to come over to the part of the video where I want the flame to appear. It's so around about here. I'm going to move the flame into the palm of the hand. And then, because I want the flame to appear there, I'm going to click Shift. T on all of the layers, click T on your keyboard and set a keyframe for every one of these layers for the opacitor and then scale the opacitor right down to zero. Go a few frames in and set the opacitor to 100. So it just gives it this nice effect as it comes in. You also want to do the same as it goes out but a bit differently. So as you close your hand, in fact we'll get onto that later. So at the minute that's alright. So you want to go to, you want to add the, um, the, the glow now on the hand. So you want to go up to the top and click layer, new and solid. You want to create a solid and it's going to be color orange and these are my settings. You don't have to create comp size um, and then click on this little eye down here so it shows off the preview and then with the orange solid layer selected you just want to draw a mask around the hand and this mask is going to represent the glow. Once you've drawn it, just put the eye back on so you can see what you've drawn. And at the minute, this looks pretty ridiculous. So you want to click on the solid and click MM. And now the mask options have come up, so you want to set the mask feather to 75. Now what most people do wrong is when I say set the opacity down, they just automatically see opacity and set this one down, but that's wrong. You want to click on the solid and click Shift T. So it also opens the opacitor, not the mask opacitor. Make sure you set the opacitor to 37 or in fact 40% and set the mode to add. So it really does get this nice glow effect on the hand. Now you want to do the same with this glow. So where you've got the opacitor on the Torch, you want to also set the opacity on the orange, so just click T, set a keyframe, and put it on zero. Go a few frames in where your flame is at its full, and then put it back on 40. So they both just kind of come in together. Now we're going to want to add a, just move this below the flame, sorry. Now we're going to want to add a tracker, um, so the flame and the glow, rename this to glow. So they can both move with the hand, so go up to layer new and null object, rename this to tracker. And then down here on the tracker, if you don't have this panel open, click window and enable tracker. Click on your original comp um, composition and click on track motion. Now as you can see it will come up with this track point and there's a little crosshair in the middle. Now what this crosshair is for is to grab hold of the position that you want it to track. So on my hand I've got this little black dot 
And this is the part I want it to track. Just increase this a tiny bit. Zoom out a bit so it can analyze it quite fast and click play. As you can see, once I've closed my hand, the track kind of moves, but that's absolutely fine. We can sort that out later. So go ahead and click apply. And now we can set um, we can set these to move along with the tracker. So first, this glow looks nice, but not nice enough. So over the over at the effects and presets, we want to type in glow. And this is one of the reasons to set the um, opacity, not the mask opacity, because when we click alpha, it's going to create this nice ring, and it's going to give that fire um, look to it. And if we set the mask opacity, this ring is not going to show. So go on the glow and give it about a 95 so it brings in that um, ring a bit closer to the hand. We want to kind of blur the um, ring so to set, set that to about 90 and then the glow intensity to about 5. So it really is bright um, and then that's it for the glow really. But what we do want to add to glow is like a little expression so click T on your keyboard and alt click on the stopwatch and it'll come up with this expression now what you want to type in is wiggle open bracket 10 comma 10 close bracket and click away this will change the um, opacity as you can see down there and it will kind of give it a really nice flicker type effect And that's basically it. Now, when we when we close the end, the track is going to move and kind of mess up. So we're going to want to go to there, and about here, we're going to click Shift and click on all of these and click T. Set a keyframe, and then a few frames forward where you're just about to close the hand. You're going to want to put this to zero. So it has time to kind of go out. Maybe make this a bit sharper to be honest. I move these there and possibly move these a bit more closer there. That's better. Now before we do anything else, we're going to want to highlight all of our keyframes and press F9. And that just gives it a bit more of a realistic um, entrance and going away. Now if you do want to mess about with the lighting you can but just for this video I'm not. And that is basically it. So thanks for watching I really hope you subscribe and please watch my other videos. Thanks.